right? In this lesson, I'm going to teach you four different right hand picking patterns. Uh, you will need a pick for this lesson. If you're stuck at home and don't have a pick, uh, you can watch one of my previous videos. I'll place a link at the bottom about how to make your own pick at home. You will need a pick for this lesson. And um, I'll show you four different patterns. Uh, the first one is down, 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 down on each string. One down stroke on each string, moving from the first to the sixth string and back. The second pattern is down up on each string. The third one is probably the most confusing one. It's down, up, down, next string. Up, down, up, next string. Down, up, down. So don't stop the, don't stop the pattern even when you have to switch between strings. And the fourth pattern is down, up, down, up, four strokes per string, and then switch the string. So down, up, down, up, new string, down, up, down, up, new string, and so on and so forth. Watch the video, watch it more than once if you need to. You can practice with it, you can pause it, rewind, you can just watch it a few times first and then practice. Uh, just make sure you practice at your own pace, take your time, do not go faster than you can actually play. Do not play these so fast that they're sloppy all the time. You want to play slow enough that you feel comfortable and you don't make a lot of sloppy mistakes. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, let me know in the bottom section. Thanks for watching. Here's the video. Okay, so here are some, some of the patterns I was talking about about to show them to you on the guitar here. I'm using the pick I was talking about. I think I made out of a Costco cash card. Uh, you can watch my previous video. I'll place a link at the bottom if you don't know what I'm talking about. And uh, here's the first pattern. <coughs> um, hold the guitar in a comfortable position and I'm trying to give you a good angle so you can see what I'm doing. First pattern is one downstroke on each string going this way and then back that way. Here it goes slowly. You can first watch and you can pause and rewind and play with or whatever you want. One downstroke per string. Some people like to keep to keep their pinky or these two fingers planted. I sometimes do, depending on what I'm playing. Uh, I'm gonna let you decide that if it makes it feel more stable to keep a pinky down or these fingers down, you know, to plant them down. That's fine. Whatever works for you. So here goes. Here, here, here goes, guys. slower you could you can also go a little bit faster but not too soon the second pattern is down up so two uh, two strokes per string down up then change string down up like so faster if you want. But don't go too fast too early, okay? So here's the third pattern, down, up, down, and then the very next one's going to start on up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 
Um, let me do this on muffled string so, you, so I can talk over it so you can see what I'm doing. So first string here, down, up, down. Second string, up, down, up. Down, up, down. Up, down, up. Down, up, down. Up, down, up, and so on. So it looks like this. slower maybe stop for it but the idea is to to keep the pattern going even as you switch between strings down up down up down up down up down up okay so The next pattern and the last one is four strokes down, up, down, up, like this. maybe now when you play it um, when you play it really fast to the point of it falling apart make sure that your hand is very relaxed not tense Okay, you don't want any part of your hand or arm to be to be tense. You want it to be as relaxed as possible. And even my pick, I'm holding my pick, it's kind of loose in there. I'm not like grabbing it hard. Everything in my hand is very relaxed. That's gonna help you play much faster. Uh, we have this tendency sometimes when you do something really fast to tense up and you want the opposite. You want uh, your fingers, your hand, your arm to be as relaxed as possible. Here goes that pattern again. I showed you today. Here's the first one. Second one. The 
last one. fast too early increase the speed gradually only when you feel comfortable going a little bit faster remember to relax your hand uh, here's how I'm holding the pick I showed you in the, in the other lesson when I when I made the pick uh, I'm using the side of my index finger and I'm placing the pick on there and uh, my thumb I, I put a band in my finger like this my time my thumb comes around and I end up with this and I want the pointer of the pick I don't know good angle I want the pointer of the pick to go in the same direction as the tip of my finger and then I have this <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, write them in the section below. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.